Hey, I'm John Kenny. Welcome to my barber shop, The Blue Collar Barber. Today we're going to be talking about how to get the best haircut and hairstyle from your barber. It's great to have so many men come into the barber shop and ask for different haircuts and hairstyles. Some guys are great at explaining what they want, other guys not so much. What I like is when people bring in a picture. It really makes it way easier for the barber. You can bring in multiple pictures. Uh, social media is a great place to find those pictures. Uh, Pinterest is good, you just type in the type of hairstyle that you like. Uh, Instagram is also great, you could follow a lot of different barber accounts. It's important to listen to what your barber tells you. Now you might have an idea for this great haircut, but it might not be the right haircut for you. I'm saying this not just because it doesn't look good on your head, but the type of hair that you have might not allow you to have that hairstyle. An example of this might be thinning hair and wanting to have some big pompadour. Now if your hair is thinning in the front, that might not work so well. That's just one example out of many, so please try to consider listening to what your barber tells you or even asking your barber for advice instead of just telling them this is the haircut I want. A lot of times people come to me with a photograph of a great hairstyle, but with the current haircut of that person, it's impossible to achieve. A good barber will work with you to get to the point where you can have that hairstyle. It might not be this haircut, it might not be the next one, but we could cut your hair so that it'll grow out into the desired style that you'd like. So now we're gonna talk about something that I think is kind of funny, is the terminology of barbershops. Nowadays, a lot of people are experts on YouTube and they throw these crazy words like, you know, the quiff and the razor edge and the hard part and all these out there. And what I love about having a photo is you don't need to come in with all these words and barber terminology or YouTuber terminology at this point. All you have to do is just show me the photo and I could get you that haircut. Maybe not right away, but in time. It's very important that your barber teaches you the difference between a great hairstyle and a good haircut. Hopefully he's giving you a good haircut and teaches you how to style it well. So just an example of a haircut versus a hairstyle is like when I wake up in the morning and my hair is all disheveled, how it is is hey, that's my haircut. It's how it was cut by the barber. Um, even as it grows out, it's going to maintain that shape of that haircut. My hair is actually, it started as a flat top like four months ago. And although I didn't touch the top, I've been cutting the sides and that haircut has turned into this and I'm able to style it in kind of a side pompadour. An important part of your visit to the barbershop is the final style at the end of the haircut. A lot of people just want to rush out and leave after they get their haircut and then they don't know how to achieve the style that they showed the picture of in the morning. So nowadays a lot of people that come to me that want a certain style, that style requires some maintenance. It'll require a blow dryer in the morning and it scares everybody to death and I don't understand why because a blow dryer for most people's hairstyles will literally take five to ten minutes. Also, you need to understand if that's too much for you, you can't achieve that style every day. And the haircut that you want might look a little silly when it's not blow dried. It's important to understand that some haircuts take a little longer in the morning. And if that's the case and you don't have that time, get a haircut that works better for you. Thanks a lot, just a parting thought. A barber can be a great friend. Open up that line of communication, whether it's about your hair or about your life. Enjoy your day and always brush your teeth.